Here, let's solve 15 questions that are related to the evaluation part of your modules. First question is, what are the coordinates of vertex E? Vertex E is located here. So, to write the coordinate of vertex E, first locate the x coordinate of E. That is negative 4. And the y is 4. Again, it's 4. Next question. What are the coordinates of vertex R? Vertex R is here. So, the x coordinate is 4. So, R. Co x coordinate is 4. And the y coordinate is positive 4 also. So, it's the location of vertex R is 4, 4. For the third question, what are the coordinates of vertex A? Vertex A is located here. So, first, let's locate the x coordinate that is 4. So A is located at 4 and Y is 0. So the location of vertex A is 4, 0. Now let's have number 4. What are the coordinates of vertex V? Vertex V is located here. So first let's locate the X coordinate. X coordinate is negative 4. Well, the y coordinate is 0. So, vertex v is located at negative 4, 0. Number 5 question. How do you name the given quadrilateral using its vertices? So, the name of this quadrilateral is quadrilateral v e r a. And if you name it, through its diagonals, it is the wrong way. So, for example, V, E, A, R. So, you jump using the diagonal and that is wrong. So, it should be from the sides of the figure. So, it could be V, E, R, A, E, R, A, V, or it could be R, A, V, E, or it could be A, V, E, R. You can also name this um, quadrilateral in the opposite direction. So as long as you name it through the sides, not through diagonals. Okay? So you can name it as V-A-R-E or you can name it as A-R-E-V or R-E-V-A or E-V-A-R. Number six, find the length of the diagonal E-A. So we will be solving the length of this diagonal so we will use distance formula we will be solving the distance from e to a or this diagonal so we will use distance formula so segment a e is equal to square root of Next, let's substitute the following given. E is our first point. So this is our first point. With the coordinates of negative 4, 4. And the second point is A, which is located at 4, 0. So this is our first point. So this is our x sub 1 and y sub 1. This is our second point. So this is our x sub 2 and y sub 2. Now we're ready to substitute the following given. x sub 2 is 4. y sub 1 is negative 4. y sub 2 is 0. Minus y sub 1 is 4. Using PEMDAS, solve the innermost equation. So the numbers inside the parentheses should be solved first. 4 minus negative 4, again, um, negative sign and minus sign are beside each other so that becomes addition so 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 0 minus 4 is negative 4 next 8 squared is 64 plus 
Negative 4 squared is 16. Sixty-four plus sixteen is eighty. Square root of eighty can be written can be rewritten as four square root of five, or you can have the decimal form, which is eight point ninety-four units. So number 7, solve for the length of segment ER. So from E to R. So to solve that one, we will again apply distance formula. So write segment ER is equal to write the distance formula. So E is our first point and R is our second point. The coordinates of our second point are the following. So it's located at 4 and 4. So this is our First point, so we have x sub 1 and y sub 1. This is our second point, so we have this one as x sub 2 and y sub 2. Now we're ready to substitute the following given. x sub 2 is 4. x sub 1 is negative 4. y sub 2 is 4. And y sub 1 is 4. Next, using PEMDAS, solve the innermost equation. So the numbers inside the parentheses should be solved first. 4 minus negative 4, so this becomes addition. 4 plus 4 is 8. Don't forget this, the power, which is 2. And 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 squared is just 0. 8 squared is 64. Plus 0 is just 64. Square root of 64 is equal to 8. So distance from E to R is equal to 8 units. Because uh, segment ER segment ER is a straight line, you can recheck your final answer by just counting. So uh, you will just count from E to R using this number line. So if you will just uh, put that one here, so that's 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 units and our final answer is correct. We have the same answer. Now for number 8, find the length of segment EV. So segment EV is a straight line. You can use the shortcut method by just counting the distance using the Cartesian plane. So this segment will be placed here and you will just count the distance 1, 2, 3, 4 so segment EV is equal to 4 units and if you want to recheck your answer you can apply or use distance formula now for number 9 solve for the midpoint of segment ME so if this is uh, segment ME what is the midpoint of this line to solve that one Use the midpoint formula is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. Next, substitute the following. This is our first point. Our first point is located at negative 4, 0. So this is our x sub 1 and this is our y sub 1. Our point 2 is E, which is located at 4, 0. This are x sub 2 and this is our y sub 2. Substitute x sub 1 is negative 4 plus our, uh, our x sub 2 is 4. Next, divided by 2. y sub 1 is 0 plus our y sub 2 is 0 divided by 2. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 divided by 2 is 0. So it means our midpoint or the midpoint of segment ME is at the origin. So the midpoint of M to E is at the origin or at 0, 0. For number 10, solve for the height of triangle MAE. 
So this is our triangle MAE. The height of this one is located here. So this line that bisect this segment ME, what is the length of this line? You can use distance formula or you can um, use the simple counting or I mean the simple counting method. So because it is a straight line, you can just count it in this way. 1, 2, 3, 4. The distance or the height of triangle MAE is equal to 4 units. To recheck that one, you can use distance formula. Number 11. What are the coordinates of vertex M? Our vertex M is located here. So, what are the coordinates of this vertex M? So, first, the x coordinate is negative 4. M is equal uh, M is located at negative 4. And the y coordinate is just 0. Number 12. What are the coordinates of vertex A? So, vertex A is located here. A is located at the x-axis. I mean, the x-coordinate is 0. While y-coordinate is located at 4. Number 13. What are the coordinates of vertex E? Vertex E is located here. So, E is located at first is the x-coordinate that is 4 and the y-coordinate is just 0. Number 14. What is the distance from vertex M to A or the distance from M to A? So, using the distance formula, M is our first point and A is our second point. M is located at negative 4, 0 while our second point A is located at 0, 4. So because this is because M is our first point, this is our x sub 1 and y sub 1. This is our x sub 2 and y sub 2 because this is because point A is our second point. x sub 2 is 0 minus x sub 1 is negative 4 plus y sub 2 is 4 minus y sub 1 is 0 using PEMDAS solve the innermost equation and those numbers inside the parentheses should be solved first so here 0 minus negative 4 so it will be it will become positive 4 so, um, negative and minus sign see, uh, are beside each other, so that becomes plus. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 minus 0 is 4 squared. 4 squared is 16 plus 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 16 is 32. And square root of 32 can be rewritten as 4 square root of 2 or in decimal form that is equal to 5.66 approximately 5.66 and don't forget the unit number 15 if we're going to solve the distance from M to A A to E and E to M we can say or we can conclude that this uh, distance and this distance are congruent or equal. This one and this one are equal. So we can say that segment M to A, M to A is congruent to segment A to E.